Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, this has to be an actual connection that you believe you have with somebody, whether you're together or not, that is okay. As long as you know each other and you believe there is a connection there in some way, shape or form. So this reading is for Aquarius in either your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placements. So welcome Aquarius, welcome in, hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius at this time. So I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists, past readings, links to your general and love play uh, list are down below in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below, and I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So let's see Aquarius and law what's going on with you at this time and please only take what resonates throw away the rest flip flop switch energies throughout the reading anytime you see fit and if it's not your reading it's not making sense for you that is probably not for you so don't try to make it fit hold out for the next reading I may not I just may not be tapping into your energy at this time so please keep that in mind it can be past present future all right, so, wow, okay, I'm not going to take those two. All right, Aquarius, so whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So we have Pisces, so some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, or your person could have Pisces heavily in their chart somewhere, or maybe you even have Pisces in your chart. But Pisces does represent um, the moon in the tarot, which can be about secrets, illusions, not seeing things clearly, um, can be also mean very deep feelings and emotions, intuition. So we'll see how that plays in to, and I just notice here, Aquarius are 11, Pisces are 12 because Pisces follows Aquarius in the Zodiac. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Pisces is the 12th sign. So the first thing I'm going to do here, uh, Aquarius, is get an overall connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Can we have a connection energy between Aquarius and whoever they're thinking about at this time? Oh, we got the solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus is all about your, I feel, your soul. It's all about who you are, what makes you, you your identity, your originality, your soul mission, your soul purpose kind of energy, your courage, your strength, you know, everything to do with your gut, your, you know, intuition, what makes you, what makes you, you. Wow. So in this, and I know it says solar plexus, but this definitely could be a soulmate relationship. This definitely reminds me of the sun energy there, which can be indicative of soulmate twin flame energy. All right, so let's see. So what I'm going to do now, Aquarius, if you're not familiar with my readings, is I'm going to get one for you, one for your person. I'm going to put you, Aquarius, on this side and your person on this side. But if you feel at any time the energy is switched, like I said, please feel free to do that. So I'll get one for each, how you're both feeling about the connection, about each other. That's too many. And then I'll clarify those energies with the tarot. And then with the tarot, we'll look at the actual situation connection situation and then advice for the connection and then um possible outcome of the connection and then we'll pull angel answers at the end all right so let's see how you are feeling oh we have darkest fear so you're feeling stress worry fear anxiety over this nervous energy maybe not sleeping at night fearing something here the nine of swords energy mm, that's your energy libra gemini aquarius and your person here has feeling alone, the five of pentacles energy. So they're feeling like neglected, abandoned kind of energy. <sighs> feeling left out in the cold. Oh boy, what's going on here, Aquarius? But then we have strengthening bonds at the bottom here with the ace of pentacles. So that's a good energy. So maybe there's just been like a disconnect here for some reason. I mean, this definitely could be a soulmate connection, 
for some reason there's been a disconnect. You're having fear and stress, worry, anxiety over this. And they're feeling neglected, left out in the cold, feeling alone over this kind of energy. Almost ready to like to turn their back on this kind of energy. But it's over here strengthening bonds. So the energy is here to bring stability back into this connection. So it can grow, be abundant um, for the long term. You know, building that foundation. Okay. I feel like the foundation of this connection needs to be like rebuilt here and strengthened. Definitely could be a soulmate connection here, but for some reason there's been, I feel like, a disconnect between the two of you. And I feel like, you know, with that Pisces, that, which does represent the moon, if you're not dealing with the Pisces, and we have the moon right here. So there definitely could have been, you know, deep feelings at one time between the two of you. A deep connection. I felt it in your soul, your solar plexus. All right, so let's clarify this energy. Why are you sitting in the Nine of Swords or Aquarius, please? Thank you so much. And I would just like to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Really doesn't mean a lot to me. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so why does Aquarius have the Nine of Swords? Six of Pentacles. Like you want it to be balanced. You feel like maybe the balance is gone. The stability is gone out of this connection. You're feeling like it's not balanced anymore. Because you see, it. I mean, the Six of Pentacles always represents uh, balance to me, equal re reciprocity kind of energy. But you see the scales here. Well, they are balanced, but the hands are not even and the coins aren't even on each side. So I feel like the scales can be balanced here, but you have fear, stress that maybe, you know, the balance is just gone out of this connection. What else here? The world. So, you, you know, do we close this out and end it? Or do we close out the cycle that we're in so we can start new, start fresh, you know, to balance this out? Because the world is all about ending Closing cycles is starting either new cycles or rebuilding cycles and renewing them in a way. So it could be travel. It could be uh, growth expansion. All right. So why does your person have feeling alone here? The hermit. So they're like in retreat mode too. So I definitely feel like there's been a disconnect because the hermit goes off alone, retreats. Um, but they do, they do a lot of thinking, contemplating, healing trying to understand, doing that deep down uh, soul searching work. So they're trying to understand why there's been a disconnect, why, yeah, mental blockage here with the Eight of Swords. So they're kind of blocked in their head, caught up in their head of why has this been this disconnect. So they're also looking at the world energy as like, are we, is this the end? Are we ending this? Or can we start fresh, start new? Can we close out this cycle we, we're in? Can we bring back the balance? And you're kind of like in that same energy almost. So you use it both because you see like the nine of uh, swords has like this energy here, which is almost the same as the eight of swords energy to me over here. So they're both kind of sitting in that energy of, you know, what's going on here? Why is this disconnect? Why have we retreated from each other? You know, will Will we have balance once again in this connection that once was strong and emotional? Oh boy. Okay. So we got three here. So this is the actual, so we have the King of Pentacles energy here and that's on your side. So yet you're wanting stability back in this connection. You want it to be strong and stable and secure. You know, you want, you want this pentacle again. You want to be able to hang on to this pentacle again, to the stability. You know, looking down at this, you know, do we hold on to this? Do we let it go? Can we renew this, make it more stable? Can it grow? Can it flourish? So here's a communication, very fiery, passionate communication here. So maybe you reaching out to your person saying, hey, you know, 
what can we do here to bring the balance, the stability back into this connection? You know, can we connect again and get out of this disconnect kind of energy? Because right in the middle of your spread here is the King of Cups energy. So, I mean, we have two kings, but I'm not getting like a third party energy. I'm getting more of the energy of yes. And I felt that, especially with the Pisces energy here, that there was a lot of love and emotions at one time between the two of you. But now there's been like a disconnect for some reason. I don't know what happened if you just grew apart or um, whatever here. It's just a big disconnect. And you see the page of wands looking at the king. It's like we're down to a page. We used to be in this king, queen energy. Now we're down to like a page. We barely communicate. Because you see the two kings here like looking, not even looking at each other. And it's just the page in between. So king, queen doesn't matter. So it's like we've both gone down to like page energy where we were once both in the king or queen energy. Love, emotion, stability. And I also feel could be you thinking about, okay, can we communicate to bring the balance back, the love, the emotions, the stability back in this? And what happened here? Why did we get this big disconnect from each other? Conflict. So they're feeling conflicted over this also. Or you both are, because that's on their side now. So, so your person's feeling conflicted over this too. Like, why did this happen? Like, they just don't know what to do. What can we do? What can I do? What What's going on here? Temperance. So, you know, needing to balance out the energies. They want the energies to balance. you got balance here and they have balance here. So you both want to bring balance back into this connection. And they're feeling conflicted about, you know, what, what do we do here? How do we bring the balance back? How, you know... Can we be patient with, with each other? Can we bring the balance back? And I keep saying that over. I'm sorry, but that's what I keep getting. How can we bring the balance back? How can we temper this? Can we have patience with one, one another? Wow. That's like the actual situation. So, and I feel like there's still love and emotions there for one another because you got the King of Cups right in the middle. So, let's see. Let's see what the advice is for this connection for you, Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, again, repeating. Abandonment, feeling lonely, left out in the cold, neglected, feeling alone. Yep, definitely with a connection here in the home life, home. That could be marriage. You know, you could be married to this person or a long-term commitment. Um, but this is the energy also of ceremony, celebrations, uh, people coming together, stability in the home life. You got the five of pentacles, pentacles here, you know, feeling neglected and alone, looking at the four of wands. Like we have this very harmonious, peaceful, loving, stable energy and looking at it, like how did we get from that to being out in the cold and feeling lonely <laughs> and alone? Like, how did this happen? How did I get here? Looking at that, like, where did that go? <laughs> where did the four of wands go? And that also can be indicative of twin flame, soulmate energy. So this is the advice. So let's get a couple more here. Now we got the queen of pentacles. So now we have the matching couple, king and queen of pentacles. Uh, it doesn't matter the suit. You get a, When you get a matching suit, it's definite soulmate energy. So this is definite soulmate energy here. So let's get one more for the advice. Seven of Swords. So this is kind of energy of sneaking away or running away or being deceitful or self-deceit. And you see the Seven of Swords like looking at the Queen of Pentacles. It's like how, how can, you know, I get that back? Because you see the seven, like, that's on their side, the seven of swords, like, looking back at the queen of pentacles, like, that person was, you know, my person, my Aquarius or whatever, was so stable, caring, nurturing, giving at one time. 
now I feel like I want to run away from this because I feel this disconnect and I don't know if this can be recovered. And there, <laughs> you're kind of in the same energy of looking at the four ones, at the stable, secure, passionate home life we once had. Peaceful home life we once had. It's like you're both looking at it <laughs> like, like, where did he go? How did this happen? Do I run away? Do I work on it? Do I? Wow. So, I mean, this is the advice. The advice is you're both looking at that energy that you once had. Definitely soulmate here. So I think the advice is to look and reflect on this energy. You feel like there's still love. Do you feel like the stability can be brought back? The passion? If it is with the Queen of Pentacles, she's like holding out the pentacle. Somebody needs to make an offer or bring in the communication or something here to work on this so you can get out of all this energy of like the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Here's the stability and the love right in the middle again. So, wow. So let's see. Oh, somebody needs to make the first move here. And, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is a very slow, practical, smart approach. Baby steps. Can we grow, nurture, expand to have growth abundance again? Because you see the growth and abundance on the wands here. So somebody needs to make the first approach here in this. If you want to bring back peace, harmony, stability, passion, love, balance back, connect once again. Eight of Pentacles, so that's putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. So, yeah, that, that is the outcome. So I see, you know, working on this. Justice, so bringing justice and balance into this. I don't, I'm not feeling like divorce or anything like that. I'm feeling like, um, you know, doing what's just and right. Bringing the balance back, the truth, the clarity. Bringing the justice back into this. Connection. Oh, we got wow, too many here. Well, oh boy. So <laughs> we got the sun, we got the queen of wands, and we got the star, which is you, Aquarius. Wow, this is great energy here with the sun and the star. This can be healed. This can be recovered. This can lead to happy home and family, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, everything positive with the sun, the star for healing. Um, energy for divinely guided energy faith hope optimism wish dreams coming true so so that is good energy so that can be healed it can be healed and happy happy outcome with the sun queen of wands bringing the passion back in the stability back in putting in the work the effort the eight of pentacles to bring the stability the passion the justice back in the happy home and family a happy outcome, healing it with the star energy. Wow. The sun and the star. Wow. Four swords. So yeah, healing again, resting, rejuvenating kind of energy. Thinking about how can we heal this? But again, the four swords kind of goes off alone. So I feel like that's that disconnect healing, thinking about this whole situation. Like what do we do here? Page of Pentacles. So again, somebody coming in, Making the first step, baby steps, uh, slow, practical, smart approach. Yeah, things are in limbo, on break right now, disconnect, I feel, with the hangman. Making a judgment call, final decision on this, resurrection, forgiveness, coming back together. To Ace of Pentacles, so like a brand new beginning between the two of you, that once you make that approach here for this new beginning between the two of you, of stability, growth, abundance for the future. Let's look at this wheel turning. Things will get better. Things will go in a better direction. Divinely guided, fate, destiny kind of energy. So things getting better. Being more stable with the Nine of Pentacles. So that is a, a single independent energy. You may have felt like, you know, I feel like I'm single. I'm independent on my own because it's such a big disconnect here. But this is telling you the Seven of Wands uh, not to give up to keep fighting for this stand up for it can be stable once again even though you may feel like you're single because of the what the energy but fate destiny things going getting better 
having like a brand new beginning between the two of you, bringing the stability back in for the long term, making that final decision and judgment call to resurrect this forgiveness because of the disconnect, the pause, the break between the two of you. Somebody making the first move here to take baby steps, um, slow, practical approach, stable energy. After, again, I feel like the disconnect of people like going off in their own corners and then thinking and contemplating on this whole connection, like what happened here? How did we get to this point? But I could see it could be healed, recovered, and have a total happy outcome and having balance. If you put the work in, once again, balance, stability, passion, love, healing, very positive outcome with the sun. And the justice and star, wow. So for the other signs I see besides Pisces, I see uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Libra, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, under here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. So these are other signs I see. So we basically have all the signs here anyway. All right, Aquarius, let's get some closing messages with this deck. So I do ask Aquarius, if you are new and you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you like to. You can check out my channel first if you like. Don't forget to hit the bell. You get about five readings a month. I do two loves, two generals, and I do a bonus, so you get five. And if you do, thank you. All right, so let's get some closing messages for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, for this connection. Wow. Okay. Yeah, see? <laughs> and those just flew out of my hand. Take action. Somebody needs to make the first move here, first approach. To heal, to mend this, to get it back to where it once was. And it's telling you to remain positive about this. Because I do feel things will get better. And you see almost like the sun energy there. So I do feel like things will get better. Just remain positive. But somebody's going to make the first move here. Take action on this. Before this like totally just falls apart and disconnects. And then you may regret. Somebody may regret not taking action. Yes, so yes, take action. Yes, remain positive. Wow, a big yes with an exclamation point. There's two yeses in the deck. One is just a yes, and one is a yes with an exclamation point. A peaceful resolution, exactly, between the two of you. Peaceful resolution. And get more information. Yeah, you need to talk to one another. See, you know, what happened here? You know, what? how did this happen? How did we get to this uh space that we're in i think you both don't really know how you got got here why how this happened so getting more information i feel like just talking to one another you know you know how do you feel about this how you know how do you think this happened and then working on that and bringing it all back like to the way it was and strengthening those bonds with the ace of pentacles do we have the ace of pentacles twice here yeah didn't we have it yeah so we got the ace of pentacles twice here Wow, so yep, yeah, double confirmation. Wow, Aquarius. Okay, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say in my channel, is to always, always shine your light.